Hello everyone, in this video I am going to cover one triangle question. Here is 40, here is 30, and these two lengths are equal, and then x is asked. First of all, we know that every triangle has a circumcircle, right? Therefore, if we draw circumcircle of this triangle, like this ACB angle is 110 degrees that means ACB angle is an obtuse angle so center of the circumcircle must be outside of this triangle right because ACB angle is an obtuse angle that means center must be here okay let's call here O point if we connect center with this triangle corners like this this three length must be radius of this circumcircle Okay, these two triangles are exactly the same, therefore these two length and these two length must be equal. And if here is 30 degrees, this center angle must be 60 degrees, and if you notice that, we get an equilateral triangle. So, 20 degrees left here, and this angle must be 60 degrees. Therefore, AO equal OB, that means AOB triangle is an isosceles triangle. So, here must be 20 degrees, and here must be 80 degrees and then here is also 80 degrees that means RB must be equal OB right okay if you notice the triangle above it's the same as the triangle below Let's call here K point. This triangle and this triangle, let's call here K point. These two triangles exactly the same. So X is going to be 50 degrees because here is 50 and this angle is 50 that means x must be 50 degrees now let's calculate the missing angle using second method if we extend this corner as long as length like this we get an isosceles triangle right so these base angles must be 20 degrees Let's call here K point. And if we create an equilateral triangle, let's call here P point. Like this. KPA triangle is an equilateral triangle. So this angle must be 40 degrees and here is 60 degrees and here is also 60 degrees this angle is 80 degrees and then let's call here t point 80 c angle 
is 80 degrees, that means TCA triangles is an isosceles triangle. That means TC must be equal AC. And if you connect these two points, PAC triangle is also an isosceles triangle. So here must be 80 degrees and this angle must be 30 degrees. Okay. If you notice that, KPC triangle and ACB triangle are congruent because they have same angles. Here is 110 degrees and this angle is 110 degrees. That means These two triangles are congruent. So we know that if two triangles are congruent, the length, which is opposite the same angles, are equal. Okay. Finally, PCT triangle and let's call here M point MBC triangle are congruent because these two triangles have same two length and angles which is between these two length that means, according to side angle side, these two triangles are congruent. So, x equals 50 degrees. Now, let's apply third method. In third method, we will apply sine rule. So, let's call here A and let's call here B. And then this length is also B. This angle is ask, right? Okay. We know that two interior angles equals one exterior angles. So let's call here K point. In this triangle, if we apply sine rule for triangle KCB, according to sine rule, B over sine X must be equal A over sine here. But we don't know this angle, so the sine of the supplementary angles are equal to each other. Therefore, we can write sine 30 plus X. So A or B equals sine 30 plus X over sine X. This is the first explanation. And if you focus on the biggest triangle, triangle for triangle ACB, let's apply sine rules. A over sine 40 must be equal B over sine 30, right? Therefore, A over B must be equal sine 40 over sine 30. Okay. This is the second expression. Therefore, if we equalize these two expression, sine 40 over sine 30 must be equal sine 
30 plus x over sine x. And we know that sine 30 equal 1 over 2. So 2 times sine 40 over 1 and if we multiply with cosine 40 numerator and denominator result will not change and we can write sine 80 instead of this expression and then we can write sine 50 instead of cosine 40 sine 30 plus x over sine x therefore x equals 50 degrees thanks for watching and if you want more videos like this please subscribe my channel